WTFNN. Headline News Update. Okay, folks, Larry Pesaveno for uh, TFNN. I started a little differently today because I got an email from uh, Rich early this morning. Uh, he sent me this little comment that imagine if they actually looked at stock prices and if it's a competition between opinion and price, I will usually defer to price. The reason why Rich sent this to me is that he knows that we've been bullish uh, hogs for February hogs for a while. And one of the top analysts at the, uh, in the Chicago area there uh, works for one of the uh, livestock firms. Uh, he became out with a very bearish view, a fundamental view of hogs today and said that he had a hard time thinking they would even go up from here. Well, this is an opinion, folks, and price is what matters. And I'll show you the chart when we get back from the program. But uh, I just wanted to show you that when we're doing these things, everybody can have an opinion. And, you know, the old adage is everybody usually has an opinion and it usually smells. So we know the answer to that. It's whether it's Tudor Jones or who it's me doesn't make any difference. Remember today, folks, the foundation for the study of cycles starts their cycle show for three days. The 9th, 10th, and 11th, from from uh, four from two o'clock. Let's try that again, Larry. From four o'clock till six o'clock, three days in a row. 9th, 10th, and 11th. It's free. Just go to the Foundation for the Study of Cycles. That's FCS, and you can uh, FSC, and you can log on and, and join it today. It's going to be Robert Prechter. Start. Oh, excuse me. We're starting out with Larry Williams, as the king should start out. First, he's the best there is, in my opinion. And then Robert Prechter will be the second. He's the Elliott Wave guy. And then on Thursday, uh, we'll have Stan Harley. Now, one of, one of the questions that people have been asking me about Stan's prediction, he said that on January the 16th, he was going to be looking for a potential high or a potential low. He didn't know whether it was going to be a high or low. It just thought it was going to be a key date. So I hope that clarifies what Stan had to say because he did specify it. He's going to be on the show on that date, on September, excuse me, on January the 16th. He will be our guest. So we're going to take a break here, get back, and we're going to talk about some hogs. 